We use a method, we never deviate away from it, which of the following would indicate that the medication is having a therapeutic effect. Okay, so don't, please don't, don't jump ahead. Please don't jump ahead. So now a nurse administers propanolol to a patient with tachycardia. What type of a drug is propanolol? It's a beta blocker, good. The beta blocker is used to do what? There's two reasons why we give a beta blocker. Lower heart rate and lower blood pressure, good. So I give this beta blocker, but what am I concerned about? What are my side effects? Because what I say about pharmacology, there's really only four ways to ask it. We're worried about contraindications. We don't want them to have any type of asthma, right? If we give too much beta blockers, can they get, become hypotensive? Yeah. Can they become um, uh, bradycardic? Yeah. But really, the one that scares me is if they have asthma or COPD, because it can induce bronchospasms. Yes. What is a medical condition that causes or that's caused by uh, bronchospasms? I listed it right in front of you asthma and COPD. Good. So, in this situation, we're very concerned, but the question is not asking that. I want you to know that which of the following would indicate that the medication is having a therapeutic effect. All right, we start with number four, decreased heart rate or increased respiratory rate. Between the two, we're using the method, which one are we keeping? Good, four over three. Increased blood pressure or decreased heart rate. We're seeing if this medication is working, good. So again, the method, the method, the method, increased urine output or decreased heart rate. How are you feeling? Good? I would, I would be too. There you go. Next slide. Here we go. So you see, with cardio, we're, we've been doing some farm. We've been doing some diagnostic. We've been doing administration. But we have to understand that Again, this is all medicine. 